Hello, it's Darren at Moonhair Studio, and I'm aware I haven't done any videos recently. So those of you that maybe subscribed over the last four or five weeks might be thinking, well, is this a, a dead channel? No, I will be back and doing some more videos soon. Um, but I'm in the middle of a bit of disassembly of the studio. Uh, if we have a look around, um, I've got my, yeah, I've got everything just sort of disassembled really. Um, there's wires all over the show. I'm basically just about to do a uh, couple of live events, uh, or I'm certainly preparing for them. One's an album that I recorded on uh, just a few tracks, uh, keyboards on uh, a couple of years ago, and that's going to go on tour, so I'll be um, sorting that out. And also another big event um, up in Durham, which I'm really looking forward to with sort of, uh, some fellow musicians I used to tour with over in Europe. Um, so that again, I need a live rig for. And I realized that actually in the time since I was doing the touring full time, um, I've moved on really with my setup and all of my sounds are in the laptop. And I never used to use a laptop on tour. I would always be using dedicated synths and um, you know weighted pianos so I'm trying to work out how to get my rig into a live format that isn't going to fall down on me um, on the road I'm uh, trying out a trial version of gig performer because I'm on a PC platform I can't use main stage uh, which is uh, Mac only so I'm looking at gig performer because that looks really versatile and I'll give you an update on that once I've had a, a go with it. I hope I'll be successful. If anybody's had any experience with Gig Performer, um, please do uh, comment because it'd be, you know, be really valuable for me to hear uh, about your experiences with that. Um, but hopefully that will be able to provide that link between the sample sets on my laptop and my keyboard rig. And keyboard wise, I will be taking my vintage Roland Phantom X out with me as well as almost as a backup because you know there's a huge array of sounds in there so I, I and I can store samples in it as well so potentially if the computer rig went down I could still do the events using the Phantom X um, even though I didn't have exactly the sounds that I wanted for that performance so that for me is a kind of belt and braces uh, approach um, I'm probably just too old school to really rely on a laptop alone in a live situation at the moment. But who knows, you know, after a few of these gigs, maybe I'll, I'll think differently. Anyway, I'll be back with some videos shortly. Um, got an interesting question about whether the QCOM Pro X and, and other MIDI surfaces, control surfaces in the studio are really just a gimmick or whether they actually help you out. So I'll be talking about that. I might even do a little review of my new submixer that I've got for, for my live rig. That's this little baby one here, um, which is 12 channels, it's just a very straightforward, simple Behringer um, desk, which, as I say, is just going to be a submixer for live. So I might tell you a little bit about that. But anyway, thanks for signing up if you have over the last few weeks, and I'll be back shortly with some, you know, proper videos, not this rambling nonsense that's going on today. Anyway, good to see you all, and um, yeah, keep in touch. Cheers, bye.